Hello and welcome. CLSI published the second edition of its M54 document, Principles and Procedures for Detection and Culture of Fungi in Clinical Specimens, in January 2021. Let's take a look at what's included in this new edition. The new edition of M54 includes updated information on directly detecting fungi in specimens, updated fungal taxonomy and nomenclature, expanded tables, new subchapters on serodiagnostic and molecular testing, and new and updated figures and photographs. In the previous editions of M54, you may recall that the emphasis was on direct detection of fungi in microscopic examinations with a limited discussion of molecular methods and no information on serodiagnostic methods. Also, fungal nomenclature has been realigned since M54 was first published in 2012. The new edition of M54 lists newly named yeast and molds and descriptions of each, as well as some new photographs. Detailed information and guidance for using serodiagnostic and molecular methods for directly detecting and sometimes identifying fungi in clinical specimens is included. Implementation of new and improved identification methods such as MALDI-TOF MS and genetic sequencing, have resulted in a realignment of fungal nomenclature. New species have been identified, such as Candida auris, and other species have been refined, as with Cryptococcus neoformans, Cryptococcus gadii species complex. Updated information on these changes and new photographs have been included. Also included in this edition is new information on algae that produce fungal and yeast-like cells in clinical specimens and can be mistaken for fungal elements. Therefore, information and photographs of chlorella, prototheca, and pythium species is provided. The new M54 edition now provides detailed information on serodiagnostic assays and their uses a detailed table showing antigen and antibody-based diagnostics for clinically important fungal infections has been added. Expanded information on using molecular methods is provided in the new edition. Assay descriptions and a list of their uses for identifying dimorphic fungi, fungi in the order mucorales, dermatophytes, aspergillus species, and yeasts such as Cryptococcus species and Candida species are included. The second edition still provides detailed guidance for performing fungal cultures, including specimen selection, appropriate media selection, sample inoculation, and culture incubation, determination of culture reading schedules, and culture growth assessment, interpretation, and evaluation. M54 second edition is available now. You can find it on our website at www.clsi.org. CLSI thanks you for your interest in our standards and guidelines.